Hey everyone, it's Daryl, and I wanted to make a quick video to show you uh, a really basic uh, pixel trace using an image that I downloaded from Creative Market. So let's click on the trace button and choose our image. And there's the one I want. Yes. Alright, let's get that loaded in. Now on the screen there's a few things. Uh, I want to add an image layer because I'm doing a print and cut and blackout can be checked. If you slide the show source slider over you can see exactly what's going to be cut and you can zoom in. Um, but I'm okay with the defaults here. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now let's position this over onto my 8.5 by 11 uh, mat. And I use that because that's the size of the paper I'm going to be printing on. So let's shrink this up a little bit so it can fit uh, nicely on a square card. Now if I go up and click the preview button I can see uh, where my reg marks are, um, what the cut lines are, etc. So there we go. So that looks good to me. Let's click done. And now I'm pretty much ready to go in in my cut screen. So let's go ahead and verify that all of our settings are okay. I'm just going to put this on origin point, although for a print and cut it really doesn't matter what you have selected here, it's going to use the, uh, the reg marks. So all my cut settings look fine, so let's go ahead and click the print and cut button. Now I need to first print my image so I can cut it, so let's go ahead and click print. Now the main thing you want to do is make sure print registration uh, marks is set. Um, and you can go in and adjust any other uh, print settings you might have, whether you want it to be in color or black and white or um, you know anything like that. Paper feed, uh, if you want to put something in through your manual feed as opposed to the tray, now would be the time to do that. And then go ahead and click print. Once your print is done and it's time to put it on the mat and insert it into the machine, do so to where your blade is parallel with the bottom registration mark and that'll make the process of uh, moving around to the first registration mark go a lot faster for you. So now that we have everything on the mat, let's click next and we can start moving the blade over uh, to the top left registration mark just like it's shown in the picture. Great, now once we have that lined up we can go ahead and click next and then that will send a command over to the forest to take a picture. Awesome, so let's put the crosshairs right in the corner and click next. Now since the blade holder smart moves right over to the next registration mark, you can just click next and it will then go ahead and take another picture of the second mark. And get that lined up. There we go. And just click next. If the head moves, click next again. Let's take another picture and we'll get the last mark. And there we go. Now ah, let's just use the arrows. There we are. And now we can click cut. And instead of making you watch it cut, how about I just show you the result? And there we go. Super easy.